Sometimes you will receive an input or have numbers coming at you from somewhere that are in a certain range. If I want to use those numbers in a different range, you can use this simple math library called map range, which allows you to take an input minimum and maximum and then set an output minimum and maximum and it does all the rest for you. I have this potentiometer I'm turning and it goes from about zero to 65,520. And you can see on the right side there, I am remapping that to a range of zero to 127. If you check out how I'm doing this in the code, the key thing is that I'm importing this simple math import map range. And then I am using this variable called remap value followed by, I want an integer, so I set int. And then this is the map range here, map range and then I'm reading the sensor, and then I'm taking its minimum of zero, maximum of 65,520, and then I'm setting it to a new minimum and a new maximum. If we look at these variables here, those start out at zero and 127. So now you can see after changing the new minimum to 32, when I turn this knob, it'll go down to 32 and still up to 127. And we can set those to anything we want. My software there has a filter value in the middle that's now going from, instead of zero, it's going from 32, that, if you see that little bump moving along there for this filter frequency notch, uh, it goes not all the way to the bottom, which you usually stop hearing things when the cutoff value goes down to zero. <laughs> And so that is how you can take a range of values and map them to a different range of values, all using the map range inside of simple math. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.